I'm just here to um, defend democracy. You know, it looks like Brexit might be stolen from us, so I'm here to make sure it's not. Um, I'm just here to counterbalance the Ramonas, you know, these anti-democratic people. You right. know, it's ridiculous. And, and we, you... We've had a vote, so we won the vote, and they're just crying because they didn't, they didn't, they didn't get their own way. I was on the Vote Leave campaign right. two years ago, you know, delivered 2,000 leaflets door to door. I was on street stalls, uh, but nothing, nothing for about the last two years until about December, when the problems with Parliament. I thought it looks like it's going to be stolen from us, and I wasn't prepared to let that happen. If it has, if it's stolen from us, the vote, the democratic vote, then democracy is over in this country. It's finished because we didn't vote the, the way the establishment wanted us to. So people, 17.4 million, maybe more people, will not put up with that. You know, it's a very emotional subject. So Parliament better be very careful because they do not want to go down the civil unrest route because it can escalate into something much more serious. And you might think I'm a bit extremist saying that, but these is, this is exactly the sort of issue that causes civil wars. So you can see blood on the streets of, Definitely. of, of, of the country? I can country. see people being killed. Right. People right. being killed all over the country. Right. I hope that doesn't happen, that's why we're here. To just, we just want what we voted for. Go on, go on. Making our own decisions, getting back our sovereignty, stop paying huge amounts of money to the EU, which we only get about half back. You know, the ability to make trade deals for the rest of the world, control immigration. Lots of reasons, lots of reasons. Many reasons, not just one reason. I want a thriving Britain that is able to make decisions for Britain in that place there. You know, I don't want decisions made in Europe by unelected bureaucrats who are on the EU gravy train, just getting the big pensions. The last ref referendum about Europe was in 1975, so we had to wait 41 years. And yet these, these people think they can have one after two, two, two and a half years, or three years. I mean, this is totally un unreasonable. As far as I can see, these people are anti-democratic. I voted to leave, so if, if, if it doesn't happen, then I want, I want my vote respected. Otherwise, what was the point of going to the polling station two and a half years ago? You know, you can't have a referendum every two years. This is ridiculous. A referendum's every generation, or every two generations, for a massive issue. We've already voted on the question. We can't have the question rerun again. It wouldn't make any sense. And who, what would the question be? Mrs May's deal or remain? That's an unfair question. That's a completely loaded question, so you could never ask that question because it would be so unfair on the Leave side. I don't think there'll be an EU in, in uh, 10 years. It's only going to take one more big country to leave, and I think the whole thing collapses like a, pack of, like a deck of cards. I just don't think it'll... Maybe if Italy leaves, France maybe, one of those two countries leaves, the whole thing just collapses. So there won't be any EU in 10 years, as far as I, I, I don't think there will be. So we're making, we're the vanguards, we're making the, the first move to show the rest of Europe that there's another way. And hopefully we will make a success of it and other countries will follow our lead.